Hi everyone. Well, it is the 5th of February and we had once again the military doing its exercises in an urban area, downtown LA, California. Loud booms. These exercises actually are, uh, they include weapons simulations. So those who are living in Los Angeles were rather surprised to hear very loud booms and military helicopters flying around their streets. Yes, I, our military, they just can't seem to forewarn residents when they do these exercises in urban areas. And we begin tonight with breaking news, low-flying choppers, loud explosions, a military exercise catching people by surprise tonight in downtown L.A. And while it may look like an invasion, don't freak out, we're told it's only a training exercise. Don't Stu Mundell out. has all the details from Sky 9. Stu? Well, Jeff, Susie, it all happening out here in downtown Los Angeles, and what a better place for urban assault being practiced. Now, it was the Army, that's the, the, the group of the military service that was out here earlier this afternoon, or earlier this evening. They've all right, can I, I have to interject. All right, do you hear these reporters? There's no better place for an urban assault training exercise. Really? We, this was, we didn't have this. I want to remind everybody of Posse Comitatus, remember that Posse Comitatus, which is dead now. Uh, this, as far as I'm concerned, is a mission. It is not a training exercise. This is a mission to induce fear in Americans. If the military simply can't figure out how to forewarn the residents in the area before they start doing their weapons simulation, exercises and those residents are hearing loud booms and they look up and they see uh, a swarm of helicopters how could anybody think how could anybody think that that is not a purposeful mission to induce fear but these reporters my god well we're on our own, guys. We are very much a uh, minority, a minority of Americans who are recognizing that things have gone askew in our nation, and the askew is not a positive askew. So this is tyranny. This is get used to it, Americans. This is what you're going to be seeing an awful lot now. Understand this also, this training exercise, oh my God, my God, Americans actually believe this. The training is essential to ensure service members are fully trained and prepared to defend our nations overseas. Are you kidding me? Now, how many mainstream media articles have we seen in the recent years where our military has radically transformed the weapons are unconventional, the weapons are lasers and, and uh, the use of directed energy weapons. Um, our military is going robotic. So this is all for your pleasure. This is all for your pleasure in real time. It's like watching a Hollywood movie to get you all worked up. And fear sure does render the individual vulnerable to get that individual to do or to submit, acquiesce, comply, obey with their authority figures. And there are so many tactics that they use, and this is one of them. 
since done their thing and have taken off very culvert but they might be coming back it, just because they were here and now they're gone doesn't mean they are done we have heard that they were actually using some sort of simulated weapons fire definitely a lot of helicopters out here and several neighborhoods were being used we understand Silver Lake downtown Los Angeles that's what we're showing you right here and Long Beach all areas that were being supposedly some sort of urban assault training this evening right now though we know that the helicopters have left the ground units are not here as well but this training is very important for the army and they actually were they actually reached out to the media telling everybody that they were very thankful for the being able to use some of the private property and all the areas where they were training everybody in that area was well aware of what was going on live in sky two sorry nine excuse oh. me over downtown los angeles i'm Stu Mandel. back to you two in the studio all right Stu. i am so tired of americans who are just going along and accepting everything these radical changes that have occurred in our country, radical changes, posse comitatus, uh, that was the act that prohibited the military from engaging in any uh, domestic law enforcement activities. Well, now we see our own police militarized, and it's hard to even distinguish between local police and military, considering that our local police, well, they now... Uh, they're so they walk around with fatigues. Um, military is called in for uh, domestic law enforcement activities. Now they're all over the place. We see them in their training exercises. They're uh, you know civilians. That was the idea that the, the civilians were to have dominance over the military. <laughs> what a joke that has become. And yes, I'm sorry, Americans on the whole have been, we're a joke, we're, we're like, why do I get upset about this? Because all of this, the ripple effect of all of it is tyranny, we're losing our freedom more and more every single day. You know, I see this and I know that what is this about? bosses. All right. This is uh, UK. And you have a suicide minister in the UK. You have a suicide minister, Jackie Doyle Price. Okay. Jackie Doyle Price wants to hold social media bosses legal, uh, uh, hold them legally responsible for the content of, uh, on their platforms. And they could face arrest, prosecution, if they fail to rein in online harms, and this is according to your UK Minister for Suicide Prevention. Okay, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, uh, they could all be treated uh, legally responsible if there is content on their platforms that cause self-harm, suicide, or abuse. They are currently operating as if they are completely not responsible for the content that sits on their platforms. That isn't an excuse we're going to give anymore. These are the little useful idiot tyrannical control freaks who think that their legislation is what? Well, if they are the clueless useful idiot, they think this is going to be good because this is going to help people uh, not be bullied on social media. And if they're not just the useful idiot, clueless, then they are the mini little, you know, tyrannical, oh, don't curse, uh, control freaks. What is this going to do? This is just another chopping away of free speech. We're living in the snowflake era. Oh my God, I'm harmed. If you post a video expressing your opinion of, let's say, drag queens, drag queens, like Annie Christ, who is now going to be reading at a library, now meaning currently today in the new world that we're living in. So I voice my opinion stating, this is not age appropriate. This is not okay, but a drag queen becomes upset about it. 
take that content down. Take that content down. You've upset a drag queen, and that cannot be allowed. So YouTube, pause my video. That's what this is about. And wow, I mean, if you're not someone who is a, excuse me, you know, a go along, get along uh, with the PC culture, then how many snowflakes are out there that I could hurt? All right. Um, we've lost our sanity collectively that we're just sitting around letting all of this happen. You know, not just in the United States, but all Western countries in particular are so losing their freedoms to these crazy people. Um, but we're just allowing it to happen. You know, this should never happen. It should never, ever, ever take place. It never did take place. The military, they have access to their training centers if they want to be doing the training so that they're better prepared and ready to fight overseas. They do not have to be in downtown LA and all over the country in other areas that we have seen throughout the years. Unnecessary and that they are not warning the residents that this would be occurring, then this is purposeful to freak Americans out. Unfortunately, Yes, what we are now revealing and what we have revealed certainly since 9-11 is we are not the brave and courageous Americans that we think we are. We are scared little children and we really do need to do the work necessary to grow up and get to be an adult. Now, now, yesterday, Otherwise, you know, eventually, well, we who don't live in this delusional world, like most Americans, we recognize the tyranny that we are living now. But eventually, for all of you who need your delusion, you can't, oh, I'm too afraid to look at the truth. Eventually, your delusion is going to be so shattered. But what will you do? You'll just go along with the authority figure. Whatever the authorities tell you to do, that's what you're going to do. Wow. Well, all links are below.